surface area of prisms. Hello there students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to find the surface area of cube, rectangular prism, and triangular prisms. Let us begin! Let's take a look at our first example. We have here a cube whose sides measure 3 centimeters. Now let us find its surface area. But wait! Do you know what surface area means? Surface area is the sum of the areas of the bases and the lateral faces of a solid figure. For example, we have here a cube. If we unfold this, we will get its net or the pattern of the figure. Here, we can see that the top and the bottom part of the figure are what we call the bases, while the rest of the faces are called the lateral faces. Now, to solve for the surface area of a certain solid figure, we just simply need to add all the lateral faces areas and the areas of the bases. Now, let us try and go back to our example. Again, we have here a cube whose sides measure 3 centimeters. Let us unfold and get its net. Now, let us determine the bases and the lateral faces of this figure. Here, we can see that it has two bases, which are in the form of squares. And we all know that to get the area of the square, we just simply need to multiply the sides to the side. So that will be sides times side or S squared. Next, for the lateral faces, we can see that it has four squares as the lateral faces. And again, since the shape of our lateral faces are square, to get the area of each square, we just simply need to multiply the side by the side, or the formula would be S squared. Now, let us solve for its surface area. To solve for the surface area of a cube, we just simply need to add the areas of the lateral faces plus the areas of the base. Here, we can see that we have six squares and the formula to determine the area of each square is side times side or S squared. So that would be six times S squared or six S squared. And that is the formula for the surface area of a cube. Now let us try and solve. Here we have six times the square of the side which is three centimeters. So that would be three centimeters times three centimeters. So we have 6 times 9 square centimeters and if we multiply this one, we'll get 54 square centimeters. Now this is the surface area of the cube. Wonderful! Now let us have another example. Again, we have here a cube but this time its sides measure 5 meters. Now let us solve for its surface area. And again, the formula would be 6s squared. So that will be 6 times the squared of the side, which is 5 meters. So that will be 5 meters times 5 meters. If we solve that, we'll get 6 times 25 square meters. And that would be 150 square meters. Now, this is the surface area of our cube. Now, let's have another example. We have here a rectangular prism whose height measures 4 inches, length 10 inches, while the width measures 2 inches. Now, what is the surface area of this rectangular prism? First, let us unfold our figure to get its net and identify the bases and the lateral faces. Here, the basis of this figure would be 2 rectangles. And to get the area of each rectangle, we are going to multiply the height and the width. Next, let's go to the lateral faces. Here, we can see that we have two different pairs of lateral faces. First, we have two rectangles. And to get the area of each rectangle, we are going to multiply the length and the height. 
Next, we also have another pair of lateral faces, which are the rectangles. So we have here two rectangles, and to get its area, we are going to multiply the length and the width. There you go. Now let us solve for its surface area. Again, to get the surface area of a solid figure, we need to add the areas of the lateral faces and the areas of the base. Here, the areas of the lateral faces would be 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the length times the width plus the area of the base, which is 2 times the height times the width. Now, let us solve. First, we have 2 times the length times the height. So, that would be 2 times the length, which is 10 inches, times the height, which is 4 inches. And if we multiply this, we'll get 80 square inches. Next, we have 2 times the length times the width. So, that will be 2 times the length, which is 10 inches, times the width, which is 2 inches. If we multiply this, we'll get 40 square inches. And lastly, we have 2 times the height times the width. So that will be 2 times the height, which is 4 inches, times the width, which is 2 inches. And that is 16 square inches. Now let us add the areas together. We'll get 136 square inches. Now this is the surface area of a rectangular prism. Wonderful! Now let's have another example. Again, we have here a rectangular prism whose height measures 11 meters, length measures 8 meters, while the width measures 5 meters. Now let us solve. Again, the formula for the surface area is the lateral areas plus the base areas. And that is 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the height times the width. First, we have 2 LH, so that will be 2 times the length, which is 8 meters, times the height, which is 11 meters. And that is 176 square meters. Next, we have 2 LW, which is 2 times the length, which is 8 meters, times the width, which is 5 meters. If we multiply this, we'll get 80 square meters. And lastly, we have 2 HW, which is 2 times the height, which is 11 meters, times the width, which is 5 meters. And if we multiply this, we'll get 110 square meters. Now let's add all the areas together and we'll get 366 square meters. Now this is the surface area of this solid figure. Now this time, we have here a triangular prisms wherein the two sides of the rectangle are the same, which are the side 1 and the side 2. While its third side, or also known as the base of the triangle, measures 1 meter while its length measures 6 meters and the height of the triangle measures 2 meters. Now, what is the surface area of a triangular prism? To solve for the surface area of the triangular prism, let us unfold first our figure. Here, we can see that the triangle has the three sides, which are the side 1, side 2, and side 3. We can also observe that the width of the rectangle are the same as the side 2 and also in the other one, it's just the same as the side 1. And for another rectangle, its width is just the same as the side 3. Also, we have here the length which is 6 meters and the height of the triangle which is 2 meters. Now, let us identify its bases and lateral faces. The bases of a triangular prism are two triangles. 
We all know that to solve for the area of each triangle, we need to multiply its base and the height and divide it by 2. Next, let us identify its lateral face. Here, the lateral face of our triangular prism would be one rectangle. We all know that to solve for the area of a rectangle, we are going to multiply the length by the width. Here, the length is 6 meters and the width would be the sum of the side 2, side 3, and side. There you go. And we all know that this is the perimeter of the triangle. Therefore, our formula for the lateral face would be length times the perimeter of the triangle. Now let us solve for its surface area. Again, to solve for the surface area, we just simply need to add the areas of the lateral faces and the areas of the bases. Here, since we only have one rectangle, and its formula would be the length times the perimeter of the triangle, that will be 1 times LP, which is LP, or length times the perimeter of the triangle. Next, let us add the areas of the bases. Here we have two triangles times the formula, which is base times height divided by 2. So that will be 2 times base times height divided by 2. Here we can already cancel the 2 since 2 divided by 2 is 1. So that leaves us base times height. Now the formula for the triangular prism would be length times the perimeter of the triangle plus base times the height of the triangle. So let us solve. First, let us multiply the length, which is 6 meters, times the perimeter of the triangle, which is the sum of the sides of the triangle. So that will be 3 meters plus 1 meters plus 3 meters is 7 meters. Next, we have base times the height. Here, the measure of the base of the triangle is 1 meter times the height of the triangle, which is 2 meters. There you go. Now, let us solve. We have 6 meters times 7 meters, which is 42 square meters plus 1 meter times 2 meters, which is 2 square meters. If we add the areas together, we'll get 44 square meters. And that is the surface area of this triangular prism. Wonderful! Now let's have another example. Again, let us solve for its surface area. To solve for its surface area, we just simply need to add the areas of the lateral faces and the areas of the bases. And that would be length times the perimeter of the triangle plus base times the height. So that will be length, which is 6 meters, times the perimeter of the triangle which is the sum of the sides of the triangle. So that will be 6 plus 3 plus 5, which is 14 meters. Plus base times the height, which is 3 meters times 4 meters. Now let us solve. We have 6 meters times 14 meters. That will be 84 square meters plus 3 meters times 4 meters, which is 12 square meters. If we add the areas together, we'll get 96 square meters. Now, this is the surface area of the triangular prism. Wonderful! You made it this far, students. Now, here are the things that you learned today.